Maria was watering the plants in her garden. They look so fresh. But think of this. If we don't water the plants or don't provide enough nutrients or simply keep the plant away from sunlight, will it grow and look fresh? It's a definite no, right? Nature too functions that way. Let me explain. Here in our example, the plant is a living component and the factors like sun, water, soil are non-living. The plant cannot survive on its own. It is dependent on the non-living factors. In our surroundings, there are many living and non-living things and they coexist. They constantly interact with each other. This is what an ecosystem is. Ecosystem, a community of life forms and concurrence with non-living components interacting with each other. The term ecosystem was first coined by an English scientist A.J. Tansley in the year 1953. So you might be wondering, is everything in our surrounding a part of the ecosystem? Yes, it is. An ecosystem could be anything like a small pond to a large ocean. An ecosystem can be broadly classified into two types, terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem. From the term terrestrial, we can easily say that it is associated with the land-based ecosystem and aquatic deals with the water, all water-based ecosystems. Let's now look at each of them and understand their further classifications. There are different types of different terrestrial ecosystems and are spread across different geological regions. They are forest, grasslands, deserts and tundra ecosystems. A forest consists of many trees, different plants, herbs and is a host of large varieties of animals, birds, reptiles, insects. Again, here the living and the non-living factors coexist. Coming to grasslands, why do you think it is called grassland? Yes, you guessed it right. Here the vegetation is mainly dominated by grass. Unlike forest, we don't find trees here. Different animals and insects inhabit this region. Desert Ecosystem A hot and dry region which receives scanty rainfall and is mostly barren lands. If you compare with forests, the variety of plants and animals are not found here. Only the plants like cactus, animals like camel are found in this region who can withstand the climate here. Talking about the tundra ecosystem, this region is, is devoid of wide varieties of trees and found in cold climatic regions. The regions are covered with ice most of the time. The plants and animals in this region are adapted to survive in extreme cold. Here we cover the different terrestrial ecosystems. Now let's explore the aquatic ecosystems now. We all know that there are two main types of water based on salt concentration. Even the ecosystems are classified based on the same. Can you recollect them? They are the marine ecosystem and freshwater ecosystem. The marine ecosystem contains higher salt concentration in the water and includes seas and oceans. They have a wide variety of organisms present in it. The freshwater ecosystem have lesser salt content in the water and includes rivers, ponds, lakes, streams. The variety of organisms is comparatively lesser. So with this, we end our session today. Here we saw what an ecosystem actually is and the classification of it. In the next session, we'll discuss structure of the ecosystem. 